side of your done or were you 100% done you determined that you're done or were you completely done you have no idea what mictus might do so you better get in shape and be ready you also don't know if you need to defend your jaw chin or ears what happens when two of the most famous boxers in history work together in the gym Whatever Mike appears, Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson are back at it, but this time they're training together rather than competing against one another. You defeated her, and you won today. Music, the heavyweight titans, are teaming up to help Mike prepare for his big comeback against Jake Paul on November 15th. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. But listen, you hear that kid is in the jungle R for the biggest night ever. With Roy Jones Jr. by Tyson's side, things just got much more exciting. However, one of his guys, Azim, calls McGee and tells McGee, I call Azim after my partner tells me to do so. Before we discuss the two boxing legends we are dealing with here, Iron says, Hey, Mike wants to do a comma back, K, but he wants to do an exhibition first. Mike Tyson, the mythical man, Tyson is the ultimate predator in the ring, famed for his explosiveness, aggressive style, and powerful hooks that could terminate fights in seconds. He was the knockout machine that frightened the heavyweight division in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Music Yes, Captain Hook Roy Jones Jr. is on the opposite side. This man is an expert technical with insane footwork, rapid speed, and a swagger that just shouts, I have this ring. Roy used to be regarded as invincible and went through several weight classes with ease, going from middleweight to heavyweight in an attempt to turn again, underscore, underscore. Mix it up, boy, you ain't come out of play, it's your money, be time undefeated. These two passed their primes, but looking for get out, and if you need a quick recap, they fought each other in 2020 in an exhibition match. Tyson was 54, Roy was 51. But even at that age, these legends put on a show that had everyone buzzing. It wasn't just for fun, it was personal for both of them. After all, they both loved to fight, and the competitive fire never dies. But now, instead of facing off against each other, they're training side by side. Imagine the adrenaline in that gym, the mind games, the technique, the passion. So, what did Roy have to say after training with one of the most dangerous men to ever step foot in a boxing ring? Let's get into it. I think it's a great. Great fight, a great marketing situation as well, cuz so many people want to see it because of the young lion and old old L no. So, it's a great situation for them, great situation for fans because gives him an op, gives Jake a chance with Mick being as old as he is, you feel me? So, I think it's a great opportunity for both fighters. But I still think Mike probably gonna be a little too much for the Jake really, because I have been hearing that people think Jake being the young guy may be too much. For Mike, but but if he if he can get to late rounds, yes, if he get to the round four or five, maybe yeah, but he got to get, but he has to get out of him first three round. Now you were in there with him, and I think you said after he still still has his strength and his power, still got the power, still got the power. That's why I say Jake has to get out of the first three rounds. Get past first three rounds, he got a chance. But in first three rounds, they're going to be devastating. And if Mike catches them with one shot, is it it's over, it's over. If he throws them, yeah. Roy Jones Jr. claimed that when Mike Tyson brought him to the gym, it wasn't just for a few light workouts. Roy didn't just show up to train with Mike Tyson for fun. This was serious business. Tyson was on a mission to find out if he still possessed the killer instinct that made him the most feared heavyweight on the planet in the past. His trains were telling me that we were slipping and hooking, so I noticed that we were slipping because, typically, I slip in and get in there, which is the hardest part of getting in there. I had never thrown the punch, so we were practicing, and then all of a sudden, I was successful. Roy Jones Jr. is the former middleweight world champion, former super middleweight world champion, current light heavyweight world champion, and future Hall of Fame legend. Both of them have fought in battle before. So Mike wanted to test himself against someone who could give him the ultimate stamp of approval before returning to the ring. Mike has been training hard for his upcoming fight against Jake Paul. Roy was blown away by Junior, and he didn't mince words when discussing Mike's health. According to Roy, Tyson is still that ravenous beast who dominated the heavyweight class. 
Roy claimed that despite his advanced age, this man still had all of his strength, explosiveness, and drive. Without a question, Mike is a beast. Roy was particularly impressed by Mike's sharp appearance in spite of all the years and Tyson's recent health scares. As everyone knows, Mike has had some serious health issues this year, but Roy was there to see if those setbacks had affected Mike's performance in the game. Music, music, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, actually, ten. When Mike originally asked Roy to train, Roy said he wasn't sure if Tyson would still be the same powerhouse or if time had finally gotten up with him. However, after just a few workouts, Roy's fears were allayed, and he's still the same guy I faced in 2020. Roy smiled, perhaps even more than before. Yes, sir, that is the one. Mike's explosive power is still present, and he can launch his signature hooks like a freight train approaching you. Roy realized he wasn't dealing with a retired fighter attempting to relive his glory days. The instant Mike began to throw punches. Roy claims that Tyson's power is as lethal as it was in the 1990s, and that it is genuine and unadulterated. Roy and Mike even got into a friendly sparring session, and his feedback was exactly what we needed to hear. According to Roy, Mike isn't just hanging in there, he's still a threat to anyone who enters the ring with him, including Jake Paul, who is about to learn the full impact of facing a fighter with Tyson's pedigree. This is also the reason I'm going in with him right now, because he's explosive, entertaining, and you never know what he's going to do. Let's examine the technical aspects of what Roy observed during that sparring session, because this is where things get crazy. Roy was most surprised by how well Mike's technique has held up. You know how Tyson's style is built around that peekaboo defense, and even at this age, Mike's slipping punches close the distance and fire off brutal combinations just like the old days. Roy explained that Mike's ability to control the distance was still elite. That bobbing and weaving technique Tyson used to dominate the heavyweight division is still on point. His head movement is slick making it nearly impossible for an opponent to land clean shots. And once Tyson enters his game, his explosive power is evident in those short hooks and uppercuts, which Roy said are still as sharp as ever. Music, oh, Roy was also impressed with Tyson's footwork. You wouldn't think a man Mike's size could move so fast, especially at 58, but Tyson's footwork is still one of his most dangerous weapons. He's always closing the gap, positioning himself, to land those devastating body shots that leave opponents gasping for air. Roy claims to have felt those body shots, saying that Mike hits you in the body and it feels like a truck hitting you. Hey Roy, how are you feeling, man? Feeling content, I mean, I feel good. Ribs are a little sore, just a little. Knee a little sore, but my knee was sore when I moved, so everything else is fine. You know you have good movement, man, but I'm getting old sucks. You know, well, you fought only three years ago, what's changed? Three more years of age, you know, causes all these knees to get sore. So how did I feel? Okay, all right, time, but let's not forget the mental side of things. Although Roy observed that Mike's attitude has changed with time, and that he is no longer the untamed reckless force he once was, Tyson's hostility is still present, but has become more restrained. Tyson takes a more measured and tactical approach. The reason Mike is so dangerous in the ring today is that he still has his beast mode, but he now knows when to unleash it. Roy referred to this as thinking man's aggression. It's as if Mike has learned to weaponize his fury, using it at the perfect times to surprise opponents. Day two is when we're getting ready for you. One, two, three, music, four. And Roy did not treat Tyson lightly only because he was his sparring partner. Roy claimed that even Though I gave Mike my all during the sporing session, the man didn't bat an eye, he's still as tough as they come. Roy tossed his trademark lightning, Mike's defense was on lockdown, but the combo was quick. Roy claims that although if Tyson's reflexes aren't as quick as they were when he was 20, they're still incredibly quick for a man approaching 60, and that's what makes Mike stand out from almost everyone else in the game after sparring with Tyson. When Roy gave him the all-clear, he told Mike bluntly that he was still every bit the heavyweight champion. Mike is prepared. Roy confidently stated that Mike is coming in strong, so Jake had best be ready. I believe that Mike will become powerful quickly and act foolishly. 
and I will have to endure the consequences.